change your mind If you change your mind As we enter September, which is where we're gonna be wrapping up this marathon by the end of this month, we head into the Ruby episode, which I consider the most interesting and thought out episode when it comes to her development. Because the fact that she's willing to not be with Sapphire and try to be solo is literally the same way as what Sapphire would do, but at the same time, Ruby isn't like Sapphire when it comes to that thought. This episode is a cowboy episode with Ruby wanting to be a cowboy. And judging of how that this leads to the Steven and Connie episode from Future, I really feel like that whole position as a cowboy sums up a lot that she really wants to be in the Wild West, but at the same time, she just can't be able to think clearly knowing full well that it's difficult to be in the notion as a cowboy. Yeah, this episode has less to talk about when it comes to Ruby being a cowboy, but at the same time, this is her first time doing it solo, which sums up a lot that if any other character who was in the fusion for such a long time gets separated and does They'll and do their own thing. I can guarantee you that they will be like Ruby regardless. Believe me, this whole fusion thing between Ruby and Sapphire is so connected that it's just difficult for them to be separated. The song Ruby White is a good song and it represents how much that Ruby wants to be a cowboy. But yet at the same time, for how her experiences of being a cowboy is difficult for her to adjust when it comes to Sapphire being in, being in her mind, believe me, I really feel like that the fusion that she was in with Sapphire is the opposite of what Lapis and Jasper went through in seasons 1, 2, and 3. Even though that it's obvious that the Ruby and Sapphire fusion is a healthier fusion, I really feel like that no matter what Ruby does, if she's solo for the rest of the show without Garnet's coming back, then I'm pretty sure that she would have nothing to gain. In perspective, when it comes to Sapphire, she can handle being so low when it comes to her having a future because she has future vision. But yet at the same time, without Ruby, she can't be able to think about her own future without Ruby. Without Ruby in her mind, that is. That just makes me feel like that these two characters, no matter what they do, they would still come together. Even though that when I first watched this episode for the first time, I was honestly amazed to see Ruby proposing to Sapphire. I will admit, it's a great moment. But at the same time, a different perspective will happen after watching these episodes again. And even though this moment didn't became less better than how I remember it, it just really feels like that this moment would still happen regardless, even though that Steven is mostly, is mostly responsible by having Ruby and Sapphire back together due to the cowboy story that Ruby was reading. But I feel like that the highlight of the episode, aside from the ending, which is bigger, is mainly Ruby acting like a cowboy, knowing full well that he wants to, that she wants to be a cowboy. I just feel like that it's cute when it comes to people who found Ruby adorable, and when it comes to this, they basically have so much potential back in 2018 when this episode came out. Even though that I'm not a fan of cowboys or western material, I still feel like that for how Ruby was executed by being a cowboy, it's honestly cute in a way that really sums up the ending as the best moments in the entire series. If we instead had a scene of Ruby coming up to Sapphire without the cowboy outfit, it wouldn't be impactful. As far as I'm concerned, every time I look at this scene, which I included in my intro of the season, it really makes it more impactful. With this leading to Ruby and Sapphire making their own decisions by being together while getting married, 
you have to admit that they really built built this up really good when it came to the pink diamond reveal that really changed the whole course of the fan base being divided, but I have to admit that this actually makes it worthwhile, especially when it comes to the following two episodes. But then again, the rush development involving the red team and onwards, it's going to be difficult to look into the positives of the reunited episode. Mainly the red team where people wanted the entire episode to be a red team. But again, we have one more episode before we get into the wedding episode. I'm giving this episode an 8.75 out of 10. You 